The US Navy has recently demonstrated a road mobile ground-based launching system for multi-role SM-6 missiles at an as yet undisclosed location in Europe. Images of the system appeared on official social media accounts belonging to the service's naval forces Europe, Africa, US 6th Fleet. The US Navy described it as a modular SM-6 launcher system. The post on the Facebook page stated, U.S. Naval Forces Europe, Africa, U.S. Sixth Fleet personnel conducted convoy protection rehearsals with a U.S. Navy modular SM-6 launcher system within the U.S. European Command EUCOM, area of responsibility on Sunday. The U.S. Navy capability enables rapid defense of the maritime domain. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why containerized, truck-mounted SM-6 is a big deal. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The launcher seen in the pictures, released by Naval Forces Europe Africa, US 6th Fleet, seems to be the same as the one that the Pentagon's Strategic Capabilities Office SCO, used to test launch an SM-6 from Ranger unmanned surface vessel last year, or at least as a variant for ground-based use. The launcher placed on Ranger USV has been referred to as the Mark 70 Mod 1 Expeditionary Launcher. Ranger was originally acquired as part of SCO's Ghost Fleet Overlord program but has since been transferred to the US Navy. The launcher installed on Ranger is itself an evolution of a trailer-mounted Lockheed Martin system, also referred to as the Payload Deployment System PDS, that has been derived from the Mark 41 vertical launch system used on various US Navy warships, like Arleigh Burke-class destroyer. As of now, it's unclear if the launch module needs its own generator or if multiple launchers could be connected to a single power source. The RIM-174 Standard Extended Range Active Missile ERAM, or Standard Missile 6 SM6, has been deployed by the US Navy to counter different kinds of threats. It was designed for extended-range anti-air warfare ERAAW, purposes, providing capability against fixed and rotary wing aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles, anti-ship cruise missiles in flight, both over sea and land, and terminal ballistic missile defense. It can also be used as a high-speed anti-ship missile. Its high-velocity and quasi-ballistic missile mode of attack makes it difficult to defend against and defeat. The missile uses the airframe of the earlier SM-2ER Block 4 RIM-156A missile and some targeting elements from AIM-120C AMRAAM. It can discriminate targets using its dual-mode seeker with the semi-active seeker relying on a ship-based illuminator to highlight the target, and the active seeker having the missile itself sends out an electromagnetic signal. SM-6 has a max speed of Mach 3.5, a range of 230 miles or 370 kilometers, and a 140-pound or 64-kilogram blast fragmentation warhead. The missile has two variants, Block 1 and Block 1A, in service, while a third version, Block 1B, is in the works. Though the current variants are thought to be effective against hypersonic threats, the new Block 1B variant is expected to see some major upgrades to propulsion and guidance. It's expected to be able to reach hypersonic speed itself 
and therefore has an enhanced performance envelope. The SM6 can be provided target information from offboard sensors, so even if the launching platform may not be able to detect or track a threat, the missile could still be used to neutralize it. The INF Treaty, which was signed by Ronald Reagan and Mikhail Gorbachev in 1987, that eliminated around 2,700 nuclear and conventional missiles, as well as their ground-based launchers, is no longer in place as both the US and Russia have withdrawn. The US cited Russian non-compliance for this and pointed to Russia developing missiles like Novator 9M729, which was violating the terms of the treaty. The withdrawal has paved the way for this kind of ground-launched capability enhancement. The China factor is also present. Henry Harris, the former commander of US Pacific Command and US Ambassador to South Korea, in his testimony submitted to Congress in 2018, pointed out China is not a signatory of any treaty like this and used it to develop a large arsenal of missiles. As per him, the Chinese rocket forces have more than 2,000 ballistic and cruise missiles, almost 95% of which would violate the INF Treaty if China were a signator. Given the situation, upgrades to American ground-based firepower are paramount. SM-6 is a flexible, multi-purpose missile, and once it's integrated into a road-mobile, ground-based launch system, it would be an extremely good asset for defense as well as offense. Containerized components would add to the versatility. This would allow the system to be placed at a fixed location or be put on the top deck of a U.S. Navy amphibious warfare ship. It's important to note that the Mark 70 Mod 1 launcher has been used to fire the Tomahawk, versions of which now have increasing anti-ship as well as land attack capabilities. Since it's derived from the Mark 41 VLS, it could potentially be capable of firing a wide range of other existing missiles, like SM-3, VL ASROC, etc. This is in sync with the distributed lethality concept that aims to disperse firepower across different platforms and aims to deploy around 150 uncrewed vessels by 2045. As evident, the development could open the doors for many new possibilities. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.